Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I introduced Google Luca as a business intelligence tool on the blog. But first off, um, a little background story about me. So I actually started with Microsoft Power BI, right? But right now, I actually use Google Luca. And also in my channel, I speak a lot about the Microsoft Power BI tool and how it's really a user and also a beginner-friendly tool to start with, right? But I would like to highlight the many reasons why I would consider you learning Google Luca and, and why it may be of utmost importance to you personally right now um one of the major advantage with google luca is really the fact that it actually has a very good data modeling as well as also data governance as well to write and now data governance is one of the many subsets of data analytics that's really 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 spoken about or you really hardly would hear people speak a lot about it and this is very important i mean for data integrity purposes right with google luca most especially right you can literally implement version control right so address different data governance issues and also improve the risk management is also so what i mean really is you can literally use tools such as git right which serves as one of like the many ways to actually ensure that the changes made in development can be tracked as well as also reverted so if there's like anything that you want to change back right or revert you can change reference the, the changes you made and also roll back the changes if it's necessary right also look how literally use this um git to also record changes and also manage file conversion as well too and this for me right is very important right and right now i'm not certain if there are any other that BI tool. I mean, I can't really say that literally integrates this. Secondly, Luca also has a feature called LucaML, which is also called Luca Modeling Language, right? It uses SQL to actually generate more like its reports, if I say so, right? So like, I just try to explain the way that you understand, right? And what this means is that it's very good because um, with SQL, it literally describes the relationship between your tables, your columns, right? The relationship you actually create in your database. And you can simply copy the SQL queries, right? And run it against your database. And also, it's sort of like easier for you to debug if the reports running in your Luca probably has an issue, right? I also understand how Luca literally generates the queries as well. Too. So what this means is that you're able to understand how LucaML code literally translates to efficient SQL queries. And you also learn one or two things as well too, even when you even generate the SQL queries, right? And this for me is really good. I mean, I really love this feature most especially, right? So literally everything you do with Luca is converted to SQL, which is the programming language used for database, right? And also, you can literally see and understand what's happening in the background based on the SQL queries, right? So like what filters do you use? What dimensions do you use? What fields are you using to generate this report or this looks you created in your dashboards, right? And how are they even affecting your data and analysis, right? So for me personally, this is something that I think that you should literally, I mean, maybe one more reason because also like improves your SQL skill as well too. Thirdly, this is a tool that cannot be overlooked or even, I mean, if I say so myself, this is a tool that cannot be overlooked really, right? I mean, I really would really love for you guys to actually explore this tool out, right? So look at the tool that acquired by Google, right? And this is huge, right? So what this means is that Google has its own clients. So if they have its own clients, it also means that they'll be looking to adopt the use of Google products as well, so right. And there are a lot of companies who are even currently using Google Luca, and other companies are looking to also use Google Luca for their visualization tools, right? So I mean, gone are the days when I mean it was Microsoft Power BI, right, or even Tableau, where those were like the only BI tools that we use. Now with Google Luca, more people are learning as well as also adopting the use of Google Luca as well. So and companies are really looking at this moment to hire talents with this skill as well. So after Microsoft Power BI and Tableau, Google is like the next sort after skill to have and it's also owned by google i mean i don't know what else to say right so it just goes to show its relevance really i mean who knows google Luca can be literally may or might literally overtake microsoft power bi i mean just say guys right and now i think the fourth point of the last point is that google Luca is also one of the many analytical tools in the modern data stack right i mean look at things this way in recent time many organizations want to be more sure about the current data stack that can be integrated with different data sources right and google Luca is one of the tools that can help you handle different um, things that may arise right so we literally future proof the company when it comes to data integration custom integration as well too and also in fact that it's also cloud native it means that there's really no dependencies right or even like architectures or even infrastructure in there right and what this is a very important reason why you even see more companies need to adopt this as well too right so i think you should actually look into them really look at. and that's like the fourth point now lastly right just like with all that data visualization tools, just like with microsoft Power BI, just like 
that the tablet well too in google Luca is really good in creating and building dashboards right so in google Luca, there is something called looks right and they're nothing but just like a single visualization that created in an explore right i can create dashboards using explores and these dashboards contain fields and dimensions i mean in subsequent videos i'll explain more about how this works right you can also perform advanced table calculations and also perform like complex analytics in google Luca as well too so in general google Luca is a tool that is already out there i mean it's not going back anytime soon right and there's a wide adoption of this tool in many companies right at the moment so it's really just important for you to learn this tool and also have this tool in your data and analytics tool belt so guys if you're looking to learn a lot and know more about google Luca, i think you stick around i would work on creating more content around this as well too and because i know it's important and what it plays in the role of this analytics field it's one tool that i would really and honestly advise for anyone who is probably currently in the field right to also explore the use of google Luca. i mean trust me we'll thank you later <laughs> right so this is the end of my video if you really have any other questions or concerns about how to even get started with google Luca, i'm more than happy to even guide you as well too and like i said i'll come up with other videos surrounding google Luca as well too until next time have a good day bye guys